have already broken out in the Kharge camp. We are seeing congratulatory posters that have been put up outside Malikarjun Kharge's residence. Posters read and I quote, Congratulations to Kharge ji on being elected as the chief of the All India Congress Committee. Now Pallavi, it's interesting because with the counting is still underway, we're still hours away from uh, the official confirmation or the announcement coming to the fore, but uh, the Kharge camp already celebrating. Pallavi? I mean, I, you know, the information which we are already getting out is at least 70% of the votes have been counted, of which around 60% is the lead which has been given to Mr. Malika Jun Karge. And that's no, going to be no surprise. I think what everyone is looking at is that the victory margin really of Malika Jun Karge. Jitendra Prasad, when the last elections were held in 1998, had won by 10%. Will Mr. Tharoor lose, uh, had lost by 10%. Will Mr. Tharoor also get around 10% or much less than that? And what really is going to be the margin of victory. There are around 9,900 delegates who have voted and the size of the delegates goes according to the size of the states. Bulk of it is coming from Madhya Pradesh in UP where even by their own admission, Cam Tharoor says that in UP particularly, they don't seem to have made any headway. Perhaps they'll not even get a single vote from there. Which means a large chunk of the votes would have gone to Mr. Kharge, which means his margin of victory could be high. So it's not very much of a surprise if we are going to see those celebration shots. In fact, many of the Karnataka Congress MLAs are already there at the Congress headquarters, clearly in anticipation of a victory from Kharge, who is, of course, from Karnataka. Right, so premature or not, uh, celebrations have already begun at 5 p.m. is when we are expecting the official announcement to come to the fore. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be Malakarjun Kharge or Shashi Tharoor that is going to be at the helm of affairs of the Congress party? Let's listen in to some reactions coming in as well. The polling went on very smoothly. Uh, the counting will also go down very smoothly. And whatever is the result, all of us will accept it and work unitedly to strengthen the Congress party. We are not, we are conducting an election after 22 years. There will be a little bit of uh, ups and downs in the process. But as we go along in the next round and as we hold elections in other, for other positions in the party, the, the process will get better. लोकतंत्र ढंग से जिस तरह चुनाव हुआ है निष्पक्षता के साथ हुआ है पारदर्शिता के साथ चुनाव हुआ है कांग्रेस ने यह दिखा दिया कि अगर लोकतंत्र कहीं है तो कांग्रेस के अंदर है बहुत ही शांतिपूर्वक वातावरण कांग्रेस के संविधान के अनुसार हुआ है मेरा आंकड़ा है कि खरगे साहब 90% से ज्यादा वोट पाकर जीते हैं 11 बार मैं चुनाव जीता हूं हारने वाला उम्मीदवार जब हारता है तो कुछ ऐसे ही डायलॉग बोलता आया है बोलने दीजिए Roor also in a press conference said that there was a preferential treatment which was given out you know i know you are saying it's a friendly battle but at the end of the day is that one remorse you are going to have we will not regret at all that we contested this election this election is going to pave uh, the way for others to come up in the future and I think that is going to be good. But you for the think it's party. not been completely fair and above board? No, it's not. Uh, the, the, the point is that uh, uh, we, going into this election, we knew uh, that, uh, you know, in some ways, uh, Dr. Th Tharoor would be kind of, uh, uh, to some extent, targeted as a relative newcomer to the party. But. Um, uh, Let's just say that there, there are, there's a lot of room for improvement. But you also have concerns about the day of the polling as well, right? Like I said, we communicate uh, with, uh, with the chief election authority uh, regularly, including on election day. We don't write because we have not, you know, it's not a love letter, as I said. Sharon's now uh, joining me live and she's reporting from outside Malikarjan Kharge's residence. Sharon, we've seen a flurry of Congress leaders uh, going in and out of Kharge's residence since this morning. We also saw supporters and loyalists of Mr. Kharge who were gathering outside as they await the results, which they think is just a matter of formality because it is Malikarjan Kharge who is going to be winning this election. Absolutely, Poonam. There is no end to the buzz outside Malikarjun Kharge's residence. The Congress workers in large numbers are in fact uh, reaching the residence of Malikarjun Kharge. And interestingly, I want to show you these posters right outside the residence of Malikarjun Kharge. Though the voting is still underway, there are congr congratulatory posters that is in fact put up right outside the residence of Malikarjun Kharge. You can see how all these Congress workers are in fact congratulating on him being elected as the president. 
president of the Congress party. So clearly, the Congress workers and the cadre who are in fact gathered over here, they all uh, have in fact decided that it has already a, a, a fight that has in fact been won by Malika Arjun Kharge. And you can see, if I ask my camera person to zoom in and show you, this is right at the entrance of Malika Arjun Kharge's residence. You can see how there is in fact a large number of leaders and Congress workers all coming in, congratulating him. So any time from now, once officially the Congress party announces the results, because as of now we just spoke to Sanjay Nirupam also, who also came to visit Malika Arjun Kharge. He said that uh, almost the counting has in fact coming uh, to an end now. And it is in fact a last round of uh, counting that is going on. And 89% is what he has been claiming that uh, Kharge, uh, Malika Arjun Kharge has got 89% of the vote and the rest of the 11% vote has in fact been gone to Shashi Tharoor. So that is the kind of uh, uh, difference that we are seeing. But uh, it doesn't seem to be a surprise is what uh, most of the people here have been saying that he has been the firm favourite. He has been someone who has been close to the Gandhi family and all the senior leaders were in fact putting in a large number of support for him. They have travelled across uh, the uh, PCC uh, offices across the country and we have seen the kind of support the PCC leaders have been putting in for Kharge. So that is the kind of support he has received and it seems it has in fact come uh, into effect in the votes as well and that is a huge difference as of now we are seeing. Of course this is what the leaders have been saying. We have to wait for an official number uh, that will be coming from the Congress party after 4 p.m. is when an official press conference will also be done by uh, Madhusudan Mistri. He will in fact be uh, putting out the numbers and accordingly we'll get to know who has actually won. But here, you there because right the counting is underway and leads are coming to the fore as far as the votes that are being polled. For now, we're given to understand that at the moment, as far as leads are concerned, Malika Arjun Kharge has about 8,000 votes in his kitty, while Tharoor has just over 1,000. That's the margin of victory that Malika Arjun Kharge seems to be looking at. As far as the difference between the two leaders is concerned, it's a little less than 7,000. The votes are still being counted. About 9,000 votes uh, or more is what we were looking at. Sharin continues to be with me. And Sharin... Uh, the margin of victory is what uh, is going to be interesting to look at from what we've uh, heard from our observers or from what uh, the Congress party workers, including some from the Tharoor camp also have been saying that, uh, yes, this was an election, but we knew that Malikarjan Kharge is going to be the winner. Look at the margin of victory here. As of now, the lead's coming through, but 8,000 votes for Mr. Kharge. Uh, Puram, this somewhere will remind you of uh, the 1998 election that happened in Congress. It was between Sonia Gandhi and Jitendra Prasada, who was Jitendra Prasada's father. And if you uh, if you remember the numbers, it was in fact around 7,000, over 7,000 votes were in fact given to Sonia Gandhi and only 94 votes were for Jitendra Prasada. So that was the kind of difference. Here, of course, we are seeing that uh, Shashi Tharoor has crossed uh, the 1,000 mark. But even then, the difference between Kharge and Shashi Tharoor is in fact a very huge difference but this was this doesn't come as a surprise is what most of the Congress workers have been saying here because all of them were rallying behind uh, Malika Arjun Kharke. They believe that he should be the one who should be uh, you know elected as the Congress president. As far as the BJP is concerned they have of course been questioning after the Shashi Tharoor's letter, Camp's letter to Madhusudan Mistri that this is all a sham, this is nothing but a fabricated fake uh, election process that is underway but to which the Congress party has been saying that when when was the last time that BJP has conducted such a uh, presidential election? That is the statement that is in fact coming from the Congress party. It is the Congress party that believes in internal democracy and that is why they went ahead with the elect presidential election. The BJP on the other hand has been questioning this sham. They have been calling this nothing but sham and they have been saying that this is just the beginning. Shashi Tharoor in coming days will in fact be uh, targeted by uh, the party members, the leaders of the Congress party. So of course uh, the, it is uh, what the BJP has been calling is uh, this is nothing but fake and it's sham but Congress believes that this is a fair and free election that they have conducted and as of now what we are hearing is that 8,000 votes have in fact been garnered by uh, Malika Arjun Kharge whereas over 1,000 votes have in fact been garnered by Shashi Tharoor. So any moment from now one officially once Congress party announces uh, the results uh, Malika Arjun Kharge will in fact be leaving his residence whether he'll be going to 10 Janpath or to the AICC office that is of course something that we have to wait and watch for. Absolutely, and it'll also be interesting to see which of those two destinations uh, Mr. Kharge chooses to go to after.